Tis the season for weddings, and if you've planned a ceremony, then you know the stress. But what you may not know is the proper wedding etiquette. Wedding planner Ilana Walker joins us now with some tips for the bride and the guests. So yes. welcome. Hi, thank you guys for having me. I appreciate being on. Oh, Absolutely. we're so excited. So you plan weddings. What is one of the top mistakes that brides tend to make? The top mistake that brides make would be listening to other people. <laughs> Everyone has an opinion. Everyone has something to say. The best thing to do is listen to yourself, listen to your heart, and maybe your fiance. <laughs> okay. right. Never do that. Okay. All right, you have a quiz for us, and we're ready with our true-false placards. All right. All right, perfect. let's go. Okay, question number one. Are you supposed to include your wedding registry in your invitation? False. Oh my gosh, I feel so at a disadvantage here because I'm not married. <laughs> <laughs> that is very correct. You're right. Ex is it right? Okay. Yes, it's I false cheated. because okay. that's rude. <laughs> if you invite someone somewhere and you put your reg wedding registry in there, it's like saying, hey, come to my wedding and don't forget to pick up my gift at this location. Oh. And I, I know that, it, but I see it all the time. And a lot of people say, well, it's convenience because people want to know. So what do you do instead? Instead, you create a wedding website, you put oh. it on there, and you allow your maid of honor, your matron of honor, and your parents to relay that information to your guests. Okay. Yep. Next question. All right, question number two. Is it okay? Yes, it is okay to have a cash bar. True or false? A cash bar. Mm. I'm going to go true. Okay, wrong. No! Wrong, wrong, wrong! <laughs> you can't invite someone to your wedding and say, oh, by the way, pay for your own drink. Oh, 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 I thought like, have cash be, you could pay in cash. Okay, I didn't understand no, the question. No, 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, okay next fails. question. <laughs> if you forgot to RSVP, it's still okay to attend the wedding reception. I mean, I guess you shouldn't, but like maybe you could call and say, I, it turns out I can, I can make it. No. Right, no. No. Okay. <laughs> no. By a week beforehand, I guess I a week beforehand, brides and grooms have to provide their caterer, their cake baker, uh, rental company's final guest counts. And if you show up, you may not have a seat, you may not have a meal, so it's best not to show up. Okay. Send a gift anyway, though. I once <laughs> forgot to send my RSVP. That did happen to me. And I just called and was like, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. But yes, you're right. That should have taken this class first. Okay. Right. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Um, if you show up to the ceremony late, it's all right to go in. Oh. Wait, the ceremony is the part where they're like, do you take da da da? Right. Okay, no, 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 false. You should wait. Or can you look through a window or something? <laughs> <laughs> I Just mean, don't go in. You're or, there. Don't, don't go in. It. Don't, first of all, don't be late, okay? okay uh -huh. Plan to at least arrive 30 minutes early. Okay. But if you are late, uh, you might want to move on to the reception space. Oh, don't Because you might that. interrupt. Uh, typically what I do is I wait for the bride to get down the aisle, wait for all the attention to be focused on her, and then I sneak the people in, mm -hmm. you know, in, in, you know, for the back row. Okay. But it's just kind of best, please understand, yeah. if yeah. you can't get in, it's because you're late. Okay. You're in the wrong. Right, right, right. All right, all right, all right, right on time. Get that hair blow dried early. Okay, here's, <laughs> here's my favorite question of all. My favorite question okay. of all. Okay. It is okay <laughs> to wear the following colors, red, white, and black, to a wedding. Well, I know you can't wear white, and I know I, 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 you can't, well, I know you can't wear white, so I have to say it's true, but you can't wear black or red? No. <gasps> what? No, no. Red draws too much attention to you, and black is, you know, very funeral-like, it's very gloomy, mm -hmm. and white, of course, the bride, whether she's wearing white or not, should be the only person in okay, white. Yeah, I knew that one, but black? Yeah. I see so many people in weddings so black, in black. Yeah, and if it's an evening wedding, it's a little bit more okay, but if it's, like, during the day, and the sun is shining, and the birds are singing. Don't wear black. Don't wear you're black. Like, Your wedding's a funeral to me, unless Ex you don't like them, and then exactly. you're like, What if red is part of the wedding <laughs> color. No, nope. just let them wear it. Oh. Just let them wear it. Yeah. All right, we've been schooled. I've been schooled, especially because I'm going to a wedding, so now I know nobody. <laughs> oh, you're, you're set then. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much.